rare adventures of Biggles. after Algy and Ginch were parachuted into Nanhu, Algy has his first view of the oasis. He lost consciousness almost as soon as he came down, and since then he's been under the care of Father Dubron in one of the back caves. But the old missionary is a good doctor, and now Algy has been allowed to walk to the opening from which he can see below. He sees Ginch leave the guest house and wander down the river for a swim. Then he sees Feng race through the trees and shout a warning. The communists are coming. Four soldiers on horseback. And they're already close to the hideout. I come at once, Master. I run fast. But they ride more fast. Soon they be here. Down to the guest house, Feng. Warn the others. What is it, Feng? Why are you back here? It is the communists. The soldiers, Henrik. They're coming. Tell the others. Bring them up here to the caves. Quickly. You'd better come up too, Feng. Yes, yes. Feng not want soldiers to see him. Soldiers kill. What will you do, monsieur? There can be no question of fighting these men. Of course not. I suppose they're armed with rifles, Feng. Feng not wait to see. Feng good lookout. He come at once. Always the soldiers carry their rifles. Uh, that's four of them. We've only two revolvers, Ginger's and mine. Holy smoke. Ginger's still swimming in the river. Can you see the soldiers yet, Mr. Lacey? Are they coming? We, we can't see them yet, but they're coming all right. For goodness sake, Hurry. All of you, all of you hide. Go back into the caves and keep well out of sight. And you, Algy. I I'll watch from here. I, I want to see what happens. Now, don't stand around talking, everybody. Get back into the caves. I don't think anyone should stay here. You may be seen. You'll have to trust me to keep in the shadows. Please hurry. We may only have a moment. Uh, do you mind if I remain? I know more of these men than you. It might be an idea. There's room for both of us. You'd better hop it, Father Dubon. But your health, my son. Go in with the others. I'll be all right. <sighs> if you insist. Henrik, keep your eye on things for a moment. I have a job to do. Uh, where are you going? To warn Ginge. He's way down the river somewhere. No, you can't. Don't be an idiot, man. I'm not going to leave my pal to be caught. This is out of the question, monsieur. You are not well. Please don't argue with me. This is a crisis. My health doesn't matter. Monsieur, to me it does. I shall obey your orders in all other things, but on this I am firm. They will not allow you to go down to the oasis. I tell you, I don't care about myself. If you go down, you will endanger all of us. You may faint, and there will be no time to bring you back here. If anyone is seen, Algy, we are all in danger. But Ginge will be seen. He doesn't know they're coming. They may not be here for long. Probably they will water their horses and ride off again. Perhaps Ginger will remain swimming throughout that time. Oh, it's too much of a gamble. I'm going. You are too late. The soldiers? They are riding in from the narrow end of the oasis. Quick, Father Dubron. Inside, out of sight. Henrik, keep well pressed back against the shadow of the opening. They are unlikely to see us up here. Carved figures of Buddha are visible in most of the cave openings. We will be mistaken for those. Ginge won't be mistaken for a Buddha if he comes wandering through. Why the blazes did you argue with it me? It was best. The walk would have been fatiguing, and the soldiers would have come on you before you reached him. Oh, I suppose so. All right. Let's watch what they do. Ah, I was right. They have come here to water their horses. They don't seem suspicious, do they? Well, why should they be? On their last visit, they killed or captured all those they could see. It is likely they believe the oasis is deserted. I hope they don't see anything to make them think otherwise. A cigarette packet, a matchbox, anything like that would tell them we're here. There is no more we can do, Algy. Now we must have faith. I wish I could be as calm about it as you. I have the old feeling that I'm sitting on a volcano. Are they coming yet, Father Dubron? Yes, Miss Summers. That was why Monsieur Lacey sent me to join you in here. He did not want you to risk too large a group at the entrance. But they're sure to know we're here. Why, they've only to walk into the guest house. They'll see all our clothes and our food. Oh, they may not go in there, Cora. But they do. Algy and Henrik are watching them. They'll warn us if anything goes wrong. And is it our place to fear when we are led by brave men? 
Oh, I, I'm sorry. I'm just a little nervy, I guess. The strain of the last few months has been a bit much. There's nothing to apologize for. We all feel that way sometimes. Oh, I'm so ashamed of myself. I feel quite terrified. I wish I'd never come to China. That is a momentary feeling, Miss Summers. I am sure you do not regret your work here. No. That's when I feel ashamed. You know, I know that what I've done has been worthwhile and that the danger's past. <laughs> I'm still human enough to feel frightened when the danger's there. This is like all the others, Cora. It'll pass. I'm sure we haven't lived through so much only to die now. And if we die, is it too great a price to pay for our work? We aren't going to die, Father. I believe in Henrik and, and those two wonderful airmen who've come to rescue us. They'll handle this situation. You're right, Anne. I suppose we all feel scared, but we've got to believe in them. We've just got to. Oh, confound the blighters. They aren't going, Henrik. Look at them. They're squatting under the trees as if they are settled there for the day. Well, perhaps they intend to wait until the heat lessens. That'll be ours. I know. And each moment will become more dangerous. If only I had some way of warning Ginger. There is none. We can only wait. Algy, hmm? do you see that small man sitting nearest to us? Yes, I noticed him when they first came in. He seems to be the boss. I recognized him when I saw the sun glint on his gold braid. He is Ma Chang. The bloke they call the tiger? Yes, he is more beast than man. It was he who slaughtered some of our friends and captured the others to torture them. He is just within range of my gun. No, 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 you mustn't shoot. I was only enjoying the thought of it. Henrik, he's coming. Jinjo. He'll walk straight into them. I, I've got to warn No, him. you can't stay back, Algy. Don't show yourself. Oh, they've heard him. It's all over now. Yes, there they go. Stay still, Algy. You must stay still. How can I? Do you think I want Jinj slaughtered or, or taken off for torture? No. Ma Chang is going up to him. But does he? Yes, yes, of course he speaks English. I'll drop the swine. That'll give Jinj a chance to run for cover. No. If you shoot, it will at once warn them that we are here. Well, they've got Ginger, haven't they? He is one. Here there are six of us. You dare not risk the lives of six, Algy. Very well. I'll hold my fire for the moment. But I'm not letting him harm Ginger. No matter what happens to us, he's not taking Ginger away. Do you not understand my words, Englishman? You are before an officer. Kneel. I don't kneel to anyone. You will kneel to my Chang dog. Oh. I'd like to drop your whip and come at me with your bare hands, Ma Chang? Insolent pig. Do you kneel or must I force you? You couldn't force me to do anything. A signal to my men, so? Get back, you swine. Take your hands off me. I'm not going on my knees. No. <laughs> That is better. I do not like scum to be on my own level. You will be held there, so do not try to rise. All right. Have your little game. If it makes you feel important to have three men force me down, it doesn't worry me. What do you want? An answer to my questions. Who are you? My name won't mean anything to you. Ginger Hebblethwaite. What are you doing here? <laughs> I've just been for a swim. Oh, Insolence uh, will not help you. Uh, uh, Are you alone? You can go down and have a look if you like. I've been by myself. It is unlikely that you would come to this place alone. It's no use looking up at the cliff. You won't see anyone there. Where are they? Who? Your companions. I say you did not come here alone. Where are your friends? I don't know what you're talking about. You will tell me, English swine, where are your friends? <coughs> where are your friends? <coughs> where are your friends? <coughs> I, 
I can't take any more of this. He's cutting Jinch to pieces. Put down your gun, Algy. It will be madness to shoot. But look what he's doing. It is all right. He has thrown his whip aside. I wonder why he did that. Jinch wouldn't give in to him. No, it is his gun. He's going to shoot Ginger. That settles it. Algy! Oh, confound it. I hit the wrong bloke. They've swung round. Algy, they are coming up here. What the blazes? Not shooting. That's rifle fire. The Kyrgyz. Look, Algy, they are streaming into the oasis. The Kyrgyz are shooting at the soldiers. <laughs> Once again, the oasis is the scene of a battle between the outlaws and their enemies. Will the soldiers be wiped out? But whoever wins, what will happen to the white folk? Listen for the next exciting chapter of The Air Adventures of Biggles. <laughs>